Mm. Y'all want to have some fun. That's what it is. Not just sex. Y'all want to have some fun. You've been you've been kind of doing the things, you know, doing what you need to be doing all the time, handling your business. No, nah, that's forever. I mean, that's boring. But anyway, <laughs> um, your current, your underlying energy is the fool. Underneath that, you have the queen of swords. So I don't know if y'all are dealing with it as a air sign, Aries, Le uh, I'm sorry, ha, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, but this is talking about perhaps even in the past, you guys were a lot more serious. You took on this very serious role. You guys had a very serious mindset back in the day. Or, you know, this, like I said before, it could be that you're dealing with an air sign. Now, for some of you guys as well, yeah, you guys were very serious. You all were a bit detached in handling your situation um, in a very logical way. You're very focused logically, right? Um, and I feel like right now, well, that, that's done, okay? You're not interested. You're not doing that no more. As a matter of fact, you guys are ready to kind of go on a new adventure. Try something new. Do something different. Have a little bit more fun. Something more exciting. Okay. Now, you have the Seven of Pentacles in here, which talks about kind of like this waiting period where, you, where you're doing the best that you can, putting your hard work out there. But then there just comes a period in time where there's, you know, time passes, right? And now you kind of like, well, where is what I've been trying to manifest at? Okay, I think you guys have been putting out a lot of work, but I feel like now it's like, you know, you're looking at the work that you've got to do further after kind of seeing some small results of, you know, some good results of where you've been. And it's like, duh, really? So I feel like for a lot of you guys, there is a situation in your love life where, yeah, there is, it has been some progress made, a bit small progress but it's at the same time there's still a lot more work that needs to be done and it can kind of feel like there's like it's a like it's just so much to do right it's just like where's the fun at you know your desired outcome is the devil and the only time i can actually see the devil coming up in your desired outcome is either one to be to break free from a situation where you feel trapped two to have sex three to have more fun four all the above or five you know like you want to feel like you're you know I, I don't want to say that you feel like you want to feel like connected with someone again but i feel like most importantly like those those four things right all the above you know want to have want to have sex want to have fun and sex you know whatever or most importantly to feel more empowered within yourself to be able to you know feel like you guys have control of your situation over your love life some of you guys you won't even want to just break free you don't want to feel trapped in a connection you don't want to feel trapped with where you are with who you're with the thing that's keeping you is the high priestess why is the high priestess coming up because of the temperance card now the high priestess talks about you know things that are hidden right things that you can't see but it's also about intuition right trusting oneself to be able to hear um hear the higher self communicate now the high, high priestess has been coming up for some people too. Virgo, for instance, it's come, it's come up for. And it's very interesting that this card comes up so much because again, it talks about intuition. It talks about trusting one's, you know, ability to like listen to spirit, to hear spirit, but instincts and intuition, like trusting one's instincts. That's also pretty what it's talking about. And the reason, like, I feel like the trusting the instincts part is what's potentially keeping you from being able to break free from these habits and old, old behaviors. Or to find freedom in your relationship, right? Keeping you from being able to break free from a connection that may be toxic. And it perhaps is because you've been in a period where you've been waiting for let me pull some clarifiers for this okay why is the high priestess the blockage what is the, what is the high priestess because the high priestess actually can talk about the unknown things that you just don't know like things that you know that you can't see the unexplainable but the high priestess also talks about the subconscious the moon and then the six of swords is coming out for this so the moon again is something hidden and then the Six of Swords talks about moving on from something, moving something, moving away from something. Distance, traveling, transition, the unknown, the unknown regarding this transition that needs to come about. 
Now, the six of cups in your relation, the six of cups is in your best path to follow, which talks about here rem reminiscing, remembering the past, looking back, connecting back with the past. For some of you guys, it's to remember that the past, yes, is it happened, but to remember what one felt in the past to, to begin with. What did you feel that you want returned? I'm going to clarify this too. As a matter of fact, you guys are about to turn into Aquarius right now because usually I probably pull them like a crazy ton of readings, a crazy ton of cards. But I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I actually haven't been, I haven't needed to pull clarifiers too much for them lately. But you guys are about to be the new Aquarius if I got to pull like a clarifier for every last one of these cards. That's the Six of Cups coming up for, for Sagittarius. Why is the Six of Cups coming up for Sagittarius? The Wheel of Fortune. Oh my goodness. So. Okay, I don't know if you heard that honking, but yeah, that's my neighbors. But anyway, y'all, six of cups with the wheel of fortune. That talks about something about this. Talks about something coming back around again, a new opportunity from the past coming back. Perhaps this is I don't know if this thing to make a new opportunity with somebody that's from the past, reconnect with somebody from the past. Maybe it's getting back together with somebody that you already know. Maybe you still have feelings for. Maybe this is a, this talks about a karmic relationship where you, maybe you feel like this person that you're with, a person that, that you are connected to is the person that you were meant to be with, right? Perhaps the situation is that, the new beginning was underneath here, queen of swords. Wow. So the situation is almost like saying like, there's a new beginning, a new opportunity here, right? Or there's there can be other options and new uh, opportunities in which love can be found. It may not be in this situation here, and it doesn't mean it won't ever happen again. It definitely doesn't mean that you have to stick with an individual because you you know they love you and you love them, right? Perhaps this is a situation where they've this person was sh showing you who you are, but it's now time to branch out and find something different, find something new, and you can do that, but you have to trust your intuition. Love doesn't happen once. The past doesn't just happen once. If you have, if you're in a relationship before, you will be in a relationship again. You will be with somebody again that truly, that connects with you once again. An innocent type, type love, something different. If this is currently, if you want to just stay in this relationship, right? And this, you know, for some of you guys, maybe it is just staying in this relationship, but, but provide, but looking back, what connected you guys before perhaps can connect you guys again. What was it that connected you guys in the first place, right? For some of you guys, this is that you guys are in a relationship with somebody that's, you know, that you guys got, you've just got back together with, or you got back together with already. And it's like, there's still a lot of work to do. There's still a lot of work to do. Well, focus on the connection. Don't really, and then, and then, and I know the Six of Cups talks about the past per, per, per se, but you've got a different perspective now. You've always, you've had, either you have a different perspective and it's time to utilize that different perspective with this chance from the past, this opportunity to do something differently that's come back from the past. Because in your feelings, you have the Four of Swords where you guys have taken some, taken a break where there hasn't been any movement. You kind of feel like things, you're at a rest in period, honestly. You're reflecting and looking within. You just need that break here to heal, to do whatever you need to do. But the hopes and fears, you have death, which talks about transition itself. Talks about a change. Talks about, you know, moving from one place to the next. This is your love life, man. Like this, death is a slow energy. And I feel like in your hopes and fears, I feel you do want some sort of change here. But at the same time, like... You don't want to kind of go through that long, grueling process of releasing something. But at the same time, I feel like that's perhaps what's needed here. Release whatever this past energy is, what's keeping you from being able to go after something new. Not saying that perhaps you need to break up with this individual. Not saying that. But I, what I am saying is that there's some, something old here that needs to be let go of. So that way that there can be some newness. Temperance is coming up here as the reason why the High Priestess is coming up. This talks about balancing oneself, harmony, and um, yeah, but harmony, balance, patience, because this is divine timing, moderation in all things. 
which means just handling your business, taking care of yourself, taking care of your responsibilities, doing what you can and focusing on yourself. It's crazy y'all, but in your outcome, you have the tower. We talked about something coming up unexpected. You don't even see it coming. You don't even see it coming. It's almost like the thing that's keeping you from this is something that you don't know. Something that you don't know. Perhaps it's, it's maybe or that or you do know. And it has a lot to do with the with stepping outside your comfort zone in something that's a little bit scary. Going out and taking that, that risk and transitioning, moving forward, moving on. To, to something else, but that's scary. Just because you have harmony and balance now. And that's perhaps why the fool is here to talk about taking a risk, taking a leap of faith. Let's take a look here and see what the wisdom of the Oracle cards are coming up. Really intense readings this time around. I, it was even some I had to pull Oracle, uh, not Oracle cards, uh, clarifiers for. Wow. Never had to do that, Free Sag. Chop wood. This talks about putting the work in. Eight of Pentacles kind of stuff. Right? Focusing in, on what needs to be done and doing it. It's putting the hard work in. Shifting the focus back to what it's back to being in the moment, to what needs to be done. And that's what I was getting with the, the six of cups in the Wheel of Fortune is like right now, it's perhaps it's just talking about utilizing this opportunity, the perspective that you've got from the past. This is your opportunity now with a situation that was very similar. Like you've had this situation happen to you before where there was some things that got stagnant. Things didn't move, right? Perhaps this is now going outside of your comfort zone talking about figuring out what it is that you want to do. Or figuring out, you know, or maybe this has to do with releasing something. The devil also talks about patterns and behaviors and in situations that, you know, well, patterns and behaviors that that don't help, that don't benefit you at all. Addictions. So perhaps there's a situation here where there. I don't think there's an addiction situation. I don't think you have an addiction problem. Some of you guys may be. But I don't think it is. But is this is perhaps this is talking about overcoming some more sort of pattern in relationships, where there is this kind of like this this sort of unknown facet to it. Let's see what the whispers of the of love says. And this says, action speaks loudly. Express your love through your actions. Okay, so that's what that means. Like, there's a lot of action-oriented cards here. Yeah, and there's not... The fool, the Four of Swords is talking about a pause, a, sep, uh, like a time of, of rest. Okay. And it says, speak the language of love underneath the deck. But it's talking about these two cards are action-oriented. And your advice is talking about like the past, the will of fortune. Remember, but this is like, it could be that it's time to cultivate, re rekindle this connection. Time to, to put in, you know, to focus on why you're in the relationship. Remember why, so you can go back to putting the hard work necessary to make it work. But it has to do with releasing something from the past too, because the death is coming up, as well as the six of swords. Six of Swords and the and death are pretty much they go hand in hand, but everything's saying put in the work, work, action, speak loudly, take action. The fool is another card that does that. Take action, take a leap of faith. And I feel like the thing that's like the 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 devil is talking about either having fun, or reconnecting with somebody. 
most importantly, maybe overcoming certain habits, certain things in a relationship, certain things that you you may not like about the certain connection. Maybe there's some sort of codependency situation that's coming up in here. But ultimately, the reason why it's not you're not able to get to this perhaps is because there's nothing going on. You're more receptive to everything. And right now, there perhaps there needs to be some more action. I mean, it needs to be something done. You have the perspective here. The Wheel of Fortune tells me that. You have a pers you, the past tells you it. The, there's a, a situation very something similar to the past. It may not even have to do with a relationship, guys. Sometimes you may have experience with something very similar to this that had nothing to do with love in that romantic sense. It could be even be with someone that's a friend or family, right? It could have been a situation or sequence in the past with someone that you know, and you've had something very similar to this happen right because this is old issues old situations old patterns all right Sag I'm gonna let y'all go see if this you know see how you do because the tower is coming up here usually the tower happens when there's no action being taken and the last thing you want to do is let the tower just let, you know do whatever it feels it needs to do to correct some sort of make some sort of corrections because it's crazy first of all okay it is it's absolutely insane but at the same time though i feel like the tower could also indicate that you do something different completely just out of the blue nobody sees it coming sag style like you don't nobody knows because you break out of this phase of not doing anything or not feeling like doing anything or healing or whatever this page or this pause energy and you change the set you know you change whatever this is you do something completely different. You overcome, you conquer these fears in which it's going in a direction that's completely unfamiliar. Because the, what is the sex of, so what is the six, uh, six of swords? He's, pick, you know, he's picking up his wife and kids. He's leaving the place that he knows where he was growing up to someone new where he doesn't know anything about. Maybe he does know something. Maybe he read something on the internet or what have you, right? But this is about moving on, moving forward. But he doesn't, he didn't know anything from the internet. He didn't even know, right? Because let's be honest, he's traveling by boat to a different area. You gotta think, back in those times, nobody had a plane, let alone a computer or phone, right? But it's trusting your intuition, trusting how your, your instincts, and then going for it. There's a lot of time, there's a lot of waiting, a lot of managing, a lot of holding, you know, keeping the balance and waiting for stuff. Right now, it's all about taking action now. It's no longer about waiting on it. It's honestly about taking action. If it ain't how you like it, keep working at it. You're going to get to what you want. 